Hey guys, what's up? Maki Shinichi is available in C server for a few days now, and many top players in the server are racing to be in the top 10. In this video, we'll watch Maki gameplay by the rank 1 Sendo in Season 1. I've included his Facebook page in the description below where he broadcasts live. I always believe that if we watch top players gameplay, we are able to learn from them and imitate their plays when we are playing ourselves. If you would like to watch more of these top players gameplay, remember to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications if you haven't. Now before we start, just a quick run through of his skills and the abilities he is carrying. Let's take a look at the top 10 Maki in the server. Just so you guys know, he is the mysterious player in the list. Without further ado, let's dive into this ranked game. After Hui picked Maki, they are already expecting an Ozumi plus Nobunaga combo from the opponent as these are still one of the best combos available in C server. They then decided to pick Hanagata and Naito and are already deciding who to be the main rebounder. They also quickly decided on who to block Ozumi's dunks and who to block Monkey's dunks. These communications between teammates are crucial especially in high ranked games and a good practice that everyone should follow. In the beginning of the match, Maki spams dribble to try to break Fujima's ankle and to build up charges. Fujima responds by jumping so that he won't fall. Fujima is also trying to stay further from Maki's green fan zone. Again, spamming dribble and this time Fujima falls and Maki gains 5 points for his out charge. Maki tries to shoot as Fujima seems to be quite far away, but Fujima got the timing right and smashed the ball down. Naito's forward jump here is crucial to have two players within Monkey's defense zone to add on to the interference causing him to miss. Here, Maki breaks Fujima's ankle and completes an Emperor Sense plus Reverse Quick Shot combo. Unfortunately, he didn't cross the 3 point line. This time, Maki is close enough to the 3 point line to dash out of it before releasing the shot. Let's take a closer look. Maki notices that Fujima always jumps when he dribbles, so he decided to pull up for a shot this time. Fujima is extra careful now, and with the clock ticking down, Maki decides to draw fire and create space for Hanagata.
Another crucial jump by Naito to increase interference. Fujima is scared of Maki's ankle break, so he kept a distance, but it's too far this time. This time, Maki breaks Fujima's ankle and completes a 3 point play. Let's take a closer look. That's all for today's gameplay. What do you think about his Maki's gameplay? Have you tried playing Maki yet? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today. Stay safe and thank you for watching.